Hello, in this video, we're going to derive the maximum likelihood estimators for a multinomial distribution. And let's jump right in. Here, the probability mass function is given uh, by this equation, and where the restrictions are that the sum of the x's add to n, and the sum of the, the, these probabilities add to 1. Now, the log likelihood of this is written like this so this piece here we just we write it in combinatorics form that and this is the same and then the product of logs is the sum of the logs but each one of those X's can be pulled out front now because there's a restriction we need to create a Lagrange multiplier and then maximize it. So this is the likelihood function, this one here. But then we create this uh, a lambda times our constraint. <clears throat> and now we have to maximize this function in order to find the uh, you know likelihood fun the maximum likelihood estimators you know under this constraint. So if we take the partial of script L with respect to P J P I then um, so here there's no p so it's constant at zero and then the, and once we get to the ith p then it's one over p but we have the constant out front and then to maximize this i mean remember we're still taking the derivative with the pi so once we get to the pi its coefficient is lambda and it's a minus so we get a minus lambda now to take the partial of this script L with respect to lambda, so this is a constant, so it drops out, and then we just get what's at over here. We set them equal to zero, and now we solve. But what we want to do is we want to find a value for lambda first. So what we do is we take the lambda over and multiply the P up, and we get this piece right here. Now if we sum across all the i's, so the sum of the x's, the sum of the, um, yeah, the p's, I mean, then then we get this equation here. But this when this lambda comes out front, we get this, and this piece here, the sum of the x's, was n, and then. Um, but this was 1 according to this equation so we get lambda is n so if n is here then when we when we solve for pi we get pi is xi over n and that's the maximum likelihood estimator now under one more scenario let's say we repeat this experiment m times with different n's and how would we find the maximum likelihood estimators in that case? Well, here's the probability mass function. So this is a script X, which is now a data matrix, because we have X1 through XK, you know, M times. So this is a matrix. The, the probabilities stay the same. Now the N, this, so this vector is 1 through K. Uh, the N vector, so there's a N for each time we run this experiment so this vector is you know has length m and then it's and since each time we run it, it's going to be independent from the other so it's the product of the individual uh, likelihoods or the probability mass function so we get this so it's the product from i equals 1 to m because we're running the n times and this is the coefficient out front the multinomial coefficient each of the p's are the same, p1 through pk, but this is x1i and this is xki, dependent upon the, you know, which experiment we're running. Now, this piece here we just keep the same because essentially when we go to maximize this, there's no p in here or PI, p1, pk, nothing. So it'll drop out. But then since we have p1, x1, 1, P1, 1, X2. I mean, it ends up being the sum of these, the exponents. So P1 raised to this sum, PK raised to this sum. And I goes from 1 to M of XKI. 
Now there's the conditions here are this where of course the PI is sum to one. The uh, the ends for each of the M experiments sum to one. Within an experiment, so within you know the ith experiment, the the xj's sum to ni, and if you double sum it, then let's just call that n capital n. Now the log likelihood of this right here is we have the log of this, and the and since it's a product, it's plus the log of this, but the log of a product's the sum of the log and each of those exponents get pulled out front so this is the log likelihood now we want to maximize since there's a constraint here we have to create a Lagrange multiplier and, and so this is what we want to maximize this likelihood plus this constraint so now when we take the partial of script L with respect to a PJ so then this piece is up here so this is constant goes away and then once we get to the jth one we have this out front in 1 over pj which is what this is and then you know the lambda gets multiplied in once we get to the, the jth p then its coefficient is lambda and it's minus so this is it set it equal to zero partial of l with respect with respect to lambda is this so this is constant and here we just get this piece here. We set it equal to zero and now we solve these equations. First of all what I want to do is try to uh, find a, an equation for lambda. So if we add lambda over and multiply up we get this equation. Now let's sum over each j. So this then we sum both sides from j equals 1 to k and we get this. Now this piece here what we called capital N and this is equal to 1 right so this implies that lambda is equal to capital N now we can take this and plug it back into this equation so this implies that the maximum likelihood estimator of PJ is equal to um, you know 1 over N times this sum right here and we're finished. Well, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.